he spins right round. Wynn Percy spins to a standstill and that has really cost him. But he gets away well. Into the pits, James Weaver. He's going to lose the B-class lead. And he says the car is jammed in sixth gear. Steve Soper's not happy. He built up the lead. And now James Weaver is saying, push me, I'm in sixth gear. I've got to get away from standstill. And he gets away in ninth position, down from sixth. 33 is leading the B class. He is in sixth position. Two BMWs ahead. Jerry Marshall is in one of them. This is the ProDrive works car that we're riding with. Up to the VW in front, right into it, left out of it. He gets a signal to pass on the left and he passes on the left. Passes on the left and now ahead, the Class D leader, Phil Dowsett's Toyota, disappears backwards. And at McLean's, the leaders are slicing through the field. Liddell leading. Harvey and Alum together. There they are. And Alum, number 21, is starting to attack. Tim Harvey's got on the inside of him. Harvey goes onto the grass. Regains the circuit. And Alum is coming along the outside of the chicane. Harvey holds the inside line. Alum nearly hits him. Keeps clear. There's Harvey, the blue car, pulling out and passing Mike Wilds. And now Alan passes Mike Wilds. Excellent driving through the field. And Damon Hill goes through in the black and white Sierra. Number 20, Mike Wilds is dropping back. In car now with Wynn Percy in fifth position. Pass Crudgington, catching Mike Wilds, and he spins! Mike Wilds spins! Sparks underneath, something jammed underneath the chassis. Now, Coppice Corner, Harvey, Alum, number 21, Damon Hill in fourth position, out of Coppice, and Alum is trying to pass it, he's passing Harvey. Alum going up into second position, and Mike Wilds there is out of the race. Now, let's see what caused it. We're with Wynn Percy, there is Mike Wilds ahead. The car does a complete spin, and obviously something jammed fouled under the car and made him spin. And at Starkey's, Damon Hill is up into third position. Number seven, Harvey, is down to fourth. Percy, number 10, is in fifth position. Damon Hill's driving a magnificent race. And this is the first touring car race he's driven in for a long time. In car with Wynn Percy, Harvey ahead. Hill ahead of him in third position. Down the straight. Harvey passes Hill up into third place. Tremendously close racing. Now the chicane. So Harvey is third, Hill is fourth. Percy, where with him, is fifth. And Hill, Damon Hill hits Harvey as they go out of the chicane. Percy is past Hill up into fourth position. And that is Tim Harvey ahead and out spins the O'Brien Donovan Sierra. Well, all action at Donington. Fortunately, all clear there. And now, Wynn Percy is really going for third position. Number 10, Wynn Percy pushing Tim Harvey. Number seven, very hard indeed. Out of McLean's, out of Coppice, in car with Percy, the ex-Jaguar works driver, multiple British champion. Ahead is Harvey, down to the chicane. The order is Needle Bristow car leading, Alan Kravitz second, Harvey and Sears third, and Percy and Edwards, there it is, in fourth position. Redgate. Tim Harvey, the sports car champion, is really having a hard time with Percy Beek in his mirrors. They're coming up to lap Pierre Dieudon, the Belgian driver in the Fina Sierra, down to the Craner Curves. Harvey absolutely on the edge. Win Percy's going through. Win Percy goes through and takes that third position. Beautiful.
wonderful bit of driving. Now up to McLean's and Percy is pulling away. He's got the momentum. Terrific drive. Number seven, Tim Harvey back in fourth position. Well, never mind, Tim. Your team car is in the lead and there it is. Last lap, Tiffany Dell is coming in to win with Lawrence Bristow, who is there in the pits waiting for Tiff to come home. Into the chicane, a really fine drive by Tiffany Dell, one of Britain's best drivers, who's never really had the brakes his great talent deserves. And just as well deserved a shared win for Lawrence Bristow, his first in the SO British Touring Car Championship, and I'm sure not his last, as Tiff triumphantly goes round his run-down lap. Excellent race, which wasn't quite over because Guy Edwards and Wynne Percy were disqualified from that third place, which moved Tim Harvey and David Sears into third and allowed Frank Sittner and Will Hoy into the top six. Edwards handing over to Percy instead of the nominated second driver, Johnny Dumfries, was deemed to be illegal. For the third time this season, John Cleland won Class C and the 16 valve Astras were once again dominant in this class. But initially for Cleland, he was put under a surprising amount of pressure from the Volkswagen of Barry Williams, partnering John Morris. But Cleland, who was partnered with Ian Flux, wouldn't be looking nervously in his mirror for much longer. The Golf fell by the wayside and Cleland was on his way to another class win, which reinforced his position as championship leader. And Louise Aitken Walker's second position behind him reinforced Vauxhall's stranglehold on Class C. Phil Dowsett was once again successful in Class D, that despite a poor pit stop with a lot of time being lost when a tyre change went wrong. It was Dowsett himself taking over for this second stint from Mark Goddard, and Dowsett was left with a full 45 seconds to make up on Tony Crudgington. He was gaining rapidly when Crudgington went out with a puncture. Dowsett well placed in the championship, but with a problem. The problem is we're out of finance. We won't be at flux unless something comes forward. Um, we've got to find some money now to continue. There's a lot of people pulling for us, but we need more finance now to carry on. Big budgets are all in Class A, and with Class 